Joshua's table. Hey, I'm Chef Flavius, and I would like to invite you on a journey. A journey of experiencing bold and exciting flavors of our kosher Caribbean lifestyle. So come hungry and ready to eat at my table, Joshua's table. Welcome to my table, Joshua's table. So tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to do a simple dish using salmon, potatoes, and asparagus. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. I got butter, I got cream, got red bell peppers, white onion, I got my asparagus, and some limes. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our Asparagus ready. Get all the stuff out the way. With the asparagus, I want to pick out any of the bad ones, anything looking kind of droopy or tired looking, you know. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them. So right here, I'm gonna cut all these the same, the same length. Just grab a whole handful like that. Next step I'm gonna do is get the red bell pepper. Next step I'm gonna do now is get my onion ready. scraps that I have here, what I'm gonna use it for is when I'm gonna do like a nice veggie stock or if I'm gonna do some kind of a chicken stock or beef stock. I save all this for later on so I can boil down and get all that good substance and nutrients out of it. So now we're gonna get everything ready to do our fish now, okay? I have my limes, we're gonna get back to the limes, but let's get this fish going. So what I have here is some wild sockeye salmon, okay? Went to my local deli. And at this point, what I want to do is get all my scales off. Usually, I have this stuff already scaled, pre-scaled, and it's it, it's sort of pre-scaled, but you know it's not all that done well. So I'm gonna take it to the sink over here. Now for this nice salmon fillets, 
I'm gonna portion them out. I usually want a six to eight ounce portion size uh, per person. What I'm gonna do now is get my limes and I wanna kinda of roll them around that kind of get them nice and soft from being so hard. So now I'm gonna cut my lemons long ways this way. That allows me to get all the juices I need out of it. Now the first thing I'm gonna use is some kosher salt. Black pepper, and just sprinkle a little bit on top of it. Some smoked paprika. And last but not least, we get a little bit of uh, dill weed. And then my limes that I have, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it all over like that. I'm just washing some potatoes now, so get all potatoes. You can do them with the skin or without the skin. With the skin allows you to uh, have that roughage when you digest it. It helps with your digestive system, allows you to uh, pass your food much, much better. Um, and it has good nutrients also in the skin. Um, but you can do it without the skin if you prefer to not have the skin. potatoes in water that way it won't turn brown the starches inside of the potatoes um, when left to the air it causes it to turn brown the next step now is we're gonna put everything together I got my potatoes ready to go I got the stove on water boiling got the fish all season the fish all season ready to go got my potatoes in my bowl okay um, and my asparagus and my uh, peppers and everything is already set over there. So we're gonna go over to the stove and get everything cooking and ready to go. So I got the water going right now. Um, this is for my potatoes. My potatoes in here to go boil. Put a little salt in there. Let's cover it down to get that good boil going. So now we're gonna do the fish now. So I'm gonna start with the sauce. Real, real, real simple. So I got my pan, nice and hot. I'm actually gonna be using butter. So I got my pan real hot, get the butter melted like that. So I can actually use that butter that I want. This sauce we're gonna be using uh, Paul Mason's brandy, okay? A little container like this right here, a little glass. I'm gonna squeeze my lemon juice in here. Oh, lime juice, correction. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my zest. This is a zester, which is which is really good. And I'm just getting the outer. The zest is really good because what it's doing is capturing that good citrusy lime flavor. And I'm gonna get uh, Paul Mason's brandy, as you can 
can see. Uh, it's very smooth. This is actually very smooth. And I'm gonna use uh, half a cup of it. Half a cup of that brandy. Get this nice and melted. This pan is nice and hot and ready to go. Get some more butter going because um, I have to put more butter in the fish because I'm doing a brandy buttered sauce. chill, let the potatoes boil, let the fish simmer, as you can see. Oh man, it's good. It's very, very good. Salute! While the food is cooking, Potatoes are ready. Um, basically, see how it's nice and soft on it. See, when it's mashed like that, that means it's ready uh, to start mashing. So, in another bowl here, I am going to be straining some of that water out because I want to save that water. So I can reuse some of that water right there. I got some fresh garlic right here that I'm gonna push on it. It comes right off. So I have my cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna crush it. The reason why you crush it like this, it allows it to release all the aromas in it and helps you to uh, mince it up easier than sliding all over the place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mince it up real, real, real fine. In my potatoes. Okay, I just finished mincing up. I have a one cup of cream that I'm going to put in here, a cup of cream, and I'm going to use one stick of butter. The stick of butter is equal to half a cup, as you can see right there. Yes, I use a lot of butter in this. This is rich food right here. No, it's not going to get you. Uh, sick or anything and I'm going to add some salt in there this is the flavor so you don't need that much because you got some in the water already add some salt in there I'm going to add some uh, black pepper you know, just enough black pepper in there I have some chopped parsley that I had dried parsley the fresh one is really really good too I'll just throw a little bit in there give it some color a little bit of paprika, this is the regular paprika. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mash my potatoes, okay? Mash my potatoes with this butter. Oh, 
cream is good. That cream from the butter and from the milk, that um, heavy cream, the garlic flavor is perfect. Oh my goodness, this is good. You got, you, I'm telling you, you gotta try this. All right, next we're gonna do our veggies now. So this is gonna be uh, interesting steps. So follow me and you'll see how to do the asparagus. Simple, easy, delicious. And then I'll put it all together. We have a meal, come on, let's go. A little bit of uh, grapeseed oil. we we'll use olive oil. Grapeseed oil is light, so that way it doesn't really uh, have that taste that you want. I wanna get this nice and hot. And now I'm gonna put my asparagus in here. Basically, from start to finish, we had this beautiful plate right here. I mean, let's look at it. It's like, wow, okay? I got the salmon, I got the veggies, I got the potatoes, the nice buttered brandy sauce right over it. Boom, let's enjoy. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this dish. Uh, I walked through all the steps. We went step by step from the beginning to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Uh, put in the comments. Just give it to me. You know, don't hold anything back. Um, that's how I get better at every at everything that I do. Um, hopefully, one day you guys can sit at my table and enjoy a meal that I can make for you. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shalom. You gotta eat for life, gotta eat for life, as long as you're willing and able. Meet me over on Joshua's table, Joshua's table, Joshua's table. As long as you're willing and able, meet me at Joshua's table, Joshua's table. Joshua's table. You gotta eat for life. Over on this channel, yeah, we keeping it kosher. Cooking good food like the way we supposed to. Everything we use, you know, we have to be clean. Cause that's the main ingredient in the cooking hygiene.